Hi guys, I've uh, put together a couple of coils here in the manner of uh, similar to Don Smith coils. I've got two oppositely wound secondary coils joined in the center. I've also got two oppositely wound primaries. Um, for testing for the Don Smith type waveform I'm going to just leave one one primary disconnected and just um, pulse through the other primary with the function generator and look on the scope so we scoped across the secondary with these caps between the uh, center Tap of the secondary and the and the uh, positive end of the secondary, which has got the primary inside it. I've just got that pull apart there so to to uh, show how the coils slide together. I'll put that back together in a second. Um, what I'll do then is, of course, connect the two the two halves of the secondary together in parallel and then in a Don Smith arrangement this would go to one side of the AC of a bridge rectifier and the um, center tap would go to the other okay so this is how the coils are wound and connected Uh, the dot denotes the outside or, or the positive end of the winding. Uh, the center tap there, and then, and then the winding reverses so that the positive is on the other end of the um, primaries. So for testing, it's set up like this. S for signal generator. We've got um, point two UF across the primary and eighty nanofarads across the secondary there. And I'll probe across one secondary and then put the other one in parallel. So now I'll set up the uh, camera with the, just view the function generator in the scope. Only. Okay. Okay, I think that's visible. That's um, 71.4 kilohertz. As you can see, the um, I'm only using a couple of volts on the function generator but as you can see there's a sound there's a sine wave on the secondary there. I'll disconnect the other secondary in parallel with that. And that's what happens. The voltage is effectively halved. Like that. And if I adjust the frequency slightly, you can see that that is full resonance at 70 kilohertz still. So it hasn't actually affected the resonance, but it's halved the voltage output. Scope. It's halving the voltage output pretty much. Changing the resonant frequency ever so slightly. What I've got now, we're going to set up like this. Exactly the same setup, but I've 
brought the other primary into play and um, I've got the net two inside or negative ends of the primary connected together so that the primary is in series that way I've got 0.14 UF across the two primaries in series got the same 18 nanofarads across the one side of the secondary what, I, what I'll do is I'll show it probed like that first and then I'll add the second side of the secondary to the uh, the one that's already probed. I haven't changed any of this as yet. Take a second to warm that up. Well, actually, I have changed the um, Division. I'll show why in a second. That's that's on one on well per division. Take it down a little bit. It's on one well per division. the other side of the secondary and there's up the charts so I'll change it up to 10 volts per division connect the other side of the secondary there so this is one one volt per division 10 volts per division As you can see, there's a remarkable difference there. Instead of halving the voltage, the voltage is doubled. This is how it's meant to be done, I think. And there's a probe across, across one side of the secondary. A tiny wave there, big wave. Big difference. I think the same effect, instead of being done any parallel like this with the clockwise, counterclockwise, and the second primary. Can be done just with two counterclockwise coils or two clockwise coils. Okay, thank you.